Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on Lango Filia. This time I would like to explain to you the colors in the Albanian language. So how to say red, green, blue, black, etc. in Albanian. There are various forms of well the colors because there are basically two dialects. I've already made some kind of introductory video about the Albanian language which you can check out here. There you can yeah, see that there are main, two main dialects of the Albanian language. The Tosk dialect and the Gek dialect. The Tosk dialect is what well, standard Albanian is based on. It is spoken in the south of Albania mainly. And there's the Gek dialect which is spoken in northern Albania and Kosovo as well. So my focus definitely lies on the um, gag dialect as spoken in Kosovo. But let's move on with the colors in Albanian. Let's start with black and white. So for black you can say there are always two forms, a female form and a male form. So a feminine and a masculine form because of, yeah, there are two, well, basically there are three genders, but the adjectives and the colors are also adjectives, they are treated like adjectives. You can say them in the masculine or in the feminine um, form. I will tell you examples. So let's start with black. If you say a black house, it would be spia or stepia e zez. E zez means black. So you have spia or stepia, the house, which is in front and afterwards you have the adjective. In this, in this case it is the um, color, black. E, zez. If you say, I don't know, a black car, you would say carry e, z. E, z means black but it is, it is the masculine form. So we have e, zez, e, z. Carry the car and then e, z, the black car. So it is different from English where you put the adjective in front but in Albanian it is mostly put after the noun. So carry easy or spia ezes. We can say the same with um, the color white. So if you say white it is e bord. E bord. Um, this means white and it is the same for the masculine as well as for the feminine form. So you can say e or e bord and yeah it doesn't change in this case so yeah let's move on with for example let's say red red in the um, female form is e kuche e kuche in the male form it is i kuch i kuch if we want to say blue this would be um, e i kaltert kaltert and this is also the same for both genders so we have E kaltert and E kaltert. It is the same. We just have to adjust the E which is for feminine nouns and the E which is for masculine nouns. If you want to say orange, orange like the fruit, it is E E portokalt. So there we also have two same forms basically. E E portokalt. And this means orange and the fruit is also called the same in Albanian, portokal. And um, yeah, that's just like in English or in other languages probably. If you want to say green, there are, well, many words basically. So you can say yeshil or yeshile. So the form with e in the end is the feminine form. Or you can say e e gelbert. Gelbert also means green. It is I think like in the standard language, like in Tosk, A.E. Gelbert and Yeshile as well, it is from the Tur Turkish language, I think. But there's also a different word which is A.E. Verd. Verd normally means yellow in standard language, but in the Geg dialect in Kosovo, some people would say A.E. Verd for, um, well, green. It is just like in Italian and in Spanish, where it is, it is it's also used for green. It comes from Latin originally, but in standard Albanian it shifted to yellow, but in Gig it's still green. So for yellow in Gig, at least in Kosovo, you would say 
Ei Saret, which comes from Turkish, if I'm not mistaken. Ei Saret is usually used among, well, in colloquial speech in Kosovo, but people also use the standard form, which is Ei Ver. So yeah, there's a bit of confusion right here, but yeah, I just, I think I explained it um, well to you. For purple, or well other forms of this color for purple you can say um violts violts so in this case we don't have a well particle in front like a e um, this adjective can be used without this these particles so we just put it after the um after the noun so we can say a purple car the purple car would be carry violts Carry Vjolts would be, um, yeah, the purple car. So that's about it. These are, I think, the most important colors to know. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure there are more forms, shades of colors, but I don't know them all in Albanian. And it would be too big of a video. So um, I will restrict this video to these most important colors, in my opinion. And yeah, I think you learned something new. I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, press the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel for further videos on the Albanian language in English as well as in German. And yeah, write a comment if you, if you like. I would love to hear from you. And see you next time on Lango Filia.